Brittany, and today we are continuing on with my 2021 holiday series. I thought it would be fun and festive and hopefully cozy to bring you along with me as I decorated my kitchen for the holidays and did a little bit of holiday baking today. So thank you for being here. I'm so grateful that you decided to take a little bit of time out of your day to spend it here with me on YouTube. I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's get to decorating. Before we get started, I thought I would share with you a bit of the decor that we will be using here in the kitchen today. I am going to continue on with the winter forest theme that I did in the entry and in the living room this year. My house is all open concept downstairs, so the kitchen is right next to the living room, and I think continuing on with that theme will be really nice in here. I've got a wreath for above the stovetop and a candle, and then I found these really great little flocked trees at the Target dollar spot this year, and I thought they would complement the larger flocked trees that I have around the house so nicely. So I'm looking forward to using those in the kitchen design today. I also have a few spools of non-wired satin ribbon to use to hang my smaller wreaths with. And then I just have a few Christmas art pieces that I'm hoping to find a place for. I probably won't use all of these today. Last year I hung these little small wreaths on the back of my bar stools and this year I thought it would be fun to hang them in the kitchen windows and on the cabinet doors. I will be using command hooks and ribbon to hang these. I am using a few small pieces of painter's tape and a tape measure to ensure that I hang each wreath at the same height. attaching the command hooks upside down inside the cabinet doors so that they will easily hold the ribbon. different things from around the kitchen like a cupcake stand and an upside down drinking glass to prop up a couple of these little flocked trees just to give them a variation in height which I think turned out really nice.
this beautiful Christmas tree candle from a great hand poured candle company. Her candles are so unique and they smell amazing. So I will link the site below. just setting up my breakfast table. As you know, if you've watched my other videos, that I like to do this with the seasons, sometimes even monthly, I'll change this area up. I am just keeping it simple and a bit more casual than I did last year. The dining plates and the bowls I am using are a set that I've had for many, many years from Pier 1. And the adorable little salad plates are actually a Kirkland's find from this year. And I thought they would go perfectly with my winter forest theme. a few kitchen favorites with you today. I guess it's kind of like a little kitchen haul, but I just wanted to share with you what I picked up to enjoy in the kitchen this holiday season. First are these cute little spatulas. I believe I found this set at Hobby Lobby. So I liked this. It has a big one and it has a little one for your littles to bake with you, which I love. It's part of the Dolly Parton collection, so that's pretty cool. And then this little gingerbread spatula, because I've gotta have a gingerbread spatula, right, to make gingerbread cookies. So this one is from Target, I believe. I just thought I had to have that one. I like using festive things when I cook and bake. It just makes it that much more fun and special. Next, I wanna share a few food items that I have been loving this season. Personally, the first thing are these Skinny Girl holiday mixes. I use Skinny Girl syrups and mixes for basically everything all the time, every season. You've probably seen them in past videos. By the way, none of this is sponsored by any of these brands. These are just things I actually love, use, and want to share with you. I love these Skinny Girl mixes. You can order these online, I'll link them below, but also um, I usually find mine at Home Goods. I found this set at Home Goods, and it's super cute. I picked up two, one for me and one to gift. And then another food item that I am loving, and I hope you can still find them if you go to Target, because I highly recommend. These are some great Christmas movie snacks this year, you guys. And these are little trail mixes by The Wonder Shop at Target. These two are my absolute 
favorite. I love this Rudolph's mix so good. It's got the Chex mix in it that's got the chocolate covered and then the powdered sugar over it. And then this one is the candy cane mix and it's just got some really great little candy cane different um, pieces of candy and then there's almonds and all kinds of stuff in there. So highly recommend these two if you go to Target, look out for these great movie snacks, great Christmas movie snacks. And then another thing I picked up at Target and I'm looking forward to trying probably on a movie night is this cute little cookie skillet. I love this. I also think this would be great for like a white elephant gift because not only do you give the gift of a delicious cookie, but it comes in a little skillet that can be reused. So I thought this was really cute and fun. And then I feel like I have to share my favorite holiday coffee with you. I shared it briefly in my hot cocoa video, which I'll link below this year. I am loving this coffee this holiday season and it's the donut shop Holiday Buzz, it's a medium roast coffee. It's so good, I love this. If you're a coffee drinker, highly recommend. I have it in the K-Cups, but I'll try to link it below in the K-Cups and if they have it in the bag uh, coffee also, in case you don't use it. Curing. And then I also wanted to share something fun that is a really, also another cute gift idea, really good for a white elephant or something like that if you're going to a party. And I found this at Home Goods. Home Goods had a lot of really great little holiday gifts, especially in the food section. I don't know about you, but I love to get like little food treats for the holidays. Maybe it's just me, but this is a 12 days of hot sauce little advent calendar. And I just thought this was so cute. Really cute, maybe a good gift for like dad or something like that. I don't know, I had to pick it up, but I got this at Home Goods. So another food favorite that I thought I would mention in this video also, I think I showed it in my hot cocoa video but I thought it deserved another mention because these are so cute. I found these at my local grocery store this year and it's Russell Stover's Melt Away Santas. They're teeny tiny, but they're just so fun to add to your hot cocoa. I feel like the kids would love these. So just another fun little food product to enjoy during the holidays. Since we are talking holiday kitchen favorites right now, I wanted to share my mug collection with you. If you know me, then you know I love a good seasonal coffee mug. I've been collecting holiday mugs for many, many years. They are from all over the place. They're from Target, Hobby Lobby, Pier One, Home Goods. I would say I pick up and find most of my seasonal mugs from Target and Home Goods. I also have a few around my hot cocoa bar that you may have seen in my hot cocoa video. These are all new this season. The gingerbread theme mugs are from Target and the Christmas tree mugs come in a set and they are from QVC. One of my very favorite things to do during the holiday season and really any holiday or really any time because I just love William Sonoma is to go to William Sonoma and see what kind of seasonal bakeware they have or seasonal goodies in terms of foods and mix and things like that. So I did pick up a few things this year and I'm excited to share them with you. And I thought since this was a kitchen video, now is the time to do just that. And one thing I picked up were these snowflake impression cookie cutters. I love these. I thought these would be great for sugar cookies. So I'm excited to try those. I also got these great Linzer cookie cutters. Here are the little Linzer cookie cookie cutters. How cute are these? Look, there's a little gingerbread. There is a snowflake and then a gorgeous little Christmas tree. So fun and this great little ornament. I love these. I think they're so thoughtfully done. William Sonoma always has beautiful bakeware and delicious foods. I also picked up this little cakelet pan. It's snowflakes, which I thought would be so cute. This is by Nordicware. I bet I did grab it at William Sonoma. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. I thought we would bake a little something today. And to bake with you guys today is one of my favorites from William Sonoma, and it is the Madagascar Vanilla Quick Bread. I've always done it in a loaf pan. I've never tried it in something like this, so we're gonna try it today. <laughs> we'll see if it works out. I love this stuff. I actually grabbed two so that I could enjoy one now early in the holiday season, and then have one to make for my family and friends when they come over for the holiday. This quick bread is super easy to make. All you need is the mix, two eggs, milk, and butter. I'm just going to grease and flour my pan, and then I'm going to just mix my eggs, milk, and melted butter together. After that, I add in the mix. Like I said, super easy.
The directions call to bake at 350 degrees for 50 minutes, but since I'm using this cakelet pan and it's a bit different than a loaf pan, I just baked them for 25 minutes at 350 and they turned out perfect. After you're finished baking these, I like to let them cool. You just top them with a little powdered sugar and then they are ready to enjoy.